Hey, what's up everybody? It's Mary Shirkusfeld Training. I'm super excited for the standing hourglass workout. You know the drill. Let's get into it and get sweaty. All right, here we go. First thing we're doing is a squat with high arms. So we're gonna be doing almost like a chair pose. We're gonna do 30 seconds, couple rounds, and I'm gonna do the exercises with you right now. So we're gonna get right into it. So chest up, shoulders back, hands up. Hey, you're gonna be squatting and sitting down. So we're going 30 seconds, almost like a chair pose here. Sitting into those heels. Sitting down, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Really sit into the heels as you really plant down sit into your butt and really sit down into the, that bottom part. Really roll down through your heels, stand and squeeze. Good. Down, good, keep breathing. 10 seconds, really press through. Make sure your knees don't come out. Drive them forward as your butt comes back. Good. Let's go one more, down and ooh, burning my legs. Next one is a lateral leg and arm lift at the same time. So we're gonna be working the outside of your leg here. So lifting here, if you wanna stabilize, just lifting here. If you need to, you can hold on to something. But what I like to do is just lift from here, almost like lean, stabilize your core, and then lift. So we're going 15 seconds here and 15 seconds on the other side. Good. And switch sides. Nice and tall, standing, and lift. So lift together and lift. So when I'm lifting together, I'm really connecting my oblique and that side of my leg to really lift everything up. Take a breath here, stretch it out for a second. We're going reverse lunges. So I like to alternate just because it helps me remember to stabilize my core. But if you cannot alternate because you're a little bit unstable, what I want you to do is hold on to something. Put that right foot forward, left foot back. Take a big breath in, come down and then up. And I just want you to stay here if you cannot. Reverse lunge where you're switching. But what I want you to focus on is really pressing through that leg Pressing down and through, good. Chest up, don't step into your pool, by the way. Chest up and shoulders back. Good, three, two, one, and down. Reverse side crunches. So a reverse side crunch is almost from the side and back. So I wanna get the obliques in the front, so here, and then pulling back. So from that side, pulling back and down, up and down, really up stretch through the core, reach down to the back, up and down. Up and back, through and back. Another 15 seconds, lift up to the sky. I feel like there's a, a balloon pulling your head up all the way to the ceiling. Really reach, reach and reach. Good, then we're gonna go monster walks next. These are really fun. Down three, two, and one, monster walk. So if you're sore, do this or not, depends. <laughs> Chest up, shoulders back. Okay, you're walking forward, really pressing. If you have a mat, it's kind of nice to walk on the outside of the mat. And then as you go to the edge, start walking back. Woo! Chest up, shoulders back. Get to the edge of the mat or a spot where you are. Shake it out, down again. Really walking, pressing through the heels. Notice I'm pressing through the heels to the balls of my feet. Sitting and back. Good, three, two, one, keep going, oh, stand up, stretch it out. Okay, second round. So get water, get whatever you need to get because we're going our second round with our squat to a high arms in three, two, one, arms up and sit. So I'm gonna speed this up a little bit more because I want you guys to make sure you're really pressing through your hips, lifting up. Good. If you need to, shake it out, slow it down. And then these last ones go really, really slow. Sit, five, four, three, two, one, and up, five, four, three, two, woo, shake it out, okay. Next, you guys know what's next? Lateral leg and arm lift, three, two, one, balance yourself, lean and touch, right? Lift at the same time. Really feel like you're focusing down on that tree of a leg, good. Breathe, switch sides, good. Woo. Balance yourself. See that I took my eyes off of something that's stable. And if you do that, like water, you're like Ooh, out of the way, right? So really keep yourself nice and, nice and tall. Three, two, one, and down. Breathe for a second here. 
your reverse side crunches. So if you're feeling it in the front, great. In your back, not so much, right? So really reach, extend, reach. Reach and extend. Keep the knees really soft. Reach and extend down the back. Good. Reaching here. If you want to change it up, come side to side. Really reaching through up and reach, up and reach. Good, you wanna really think about pulling down, extending through your back because your core is everything in your core set. Three, two, one, and last stretch of the chest, okay. Monster walks, everybody. Time to burn those legs, get down. Ready, three, two, one, and walk. Really step, and I want you to march. Really feel it in your butt and in your legs. As you're marching forward, keep that core in. As you're moving back, same thing. Pushing yourself to that next level, keeping it nice and tall. So forward at you, I'm walking, ah. <laughs> I do this to Cruz all the time. He's like, mommy, no. <laughs> Good, 10 seconds, keep it up. Breathe, walking forward and back. Three, two, one, and drop it down. Woo! Stretch it out. Stretch it out, because that's your hourglass workout. Tight waist, nice legs, super sleek arms. Hope you guys love it. Make sure you subscribe. Love this video, like it, and share it with a friend. I'll see you guys in the next one.